Welcome back. If you guys like Australian animals, then this video is for you. We visit my sister's animal refuge, which is bush beans, and we run through some of the animals that they're saving currently and some that they've saved. So hang about and we'll show you around bush beans animal refuge. And if this isn't your cup of tea, don't be too stressed. Because over the next few weeks, we'll be heading out of COVID lockdown and we'll be travelling up the Streslecki track, which is a famous track in Outback Australia. So we'll show you the sights when we get there. G'day everyone, this is Marlene, she's my sister and she's created for herself and the injured animals around the place a wildlife shelter. So we've got her here today so she can explain a few things about how she became involved with it all, what she did to become involved and what it's evolved to. So go for it Marlene. Okay, <laughs> it all started about three and a half years ago. I'm a vet nurse. I was at work and two little unweaned ringtail possums came in. Now, legally, if they're unweaned and we can't find foster carers, they do need to be put to sleep because it's inhumane to, to keep them and only wildlife carers can look after them. It was about then that, that I realised that I needed to be a wildlife carer instantly. Well, because there were too many animals were getting put down for no real reason. Well, it is hard to find the carers and it is voluntary. Uh, they don't get paid for anything they do and it does take over their life. So there's very limited people that are prepared to do that. Yeah. And I think I'm one of those insane ones. Poss possibly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you started a few years ago? Yep, with the two possums and from there it grows. Especially once you've got little ringtails, you then want to join them in a colony. So one, two little ringtails became five and it just kept growing and... You, you have like a mentor or another carer and she helped me so much and she would introduce me to new animals to care for. <laughs> Probably my, my all-time favourites would be wombats and sugar gliders at the moment. <laughs> how many how many animals do you think you've cared for maybe total or how many do you have per year or how, how many do you have every week or what happens? Uh, I think it's, it's growing. Yes. <laughs> uh, we've got 18 in care at the moment. But as I said, it's it's pretty easy at the moment. So you go up to like yeah, definitely. There's there's been like twenty. Oh, there's been in the thirties when we've had a whole lot of little ducks as well. Uh. But overall, I think I think I'm around to uh, around 160. Now, of course, not all those make it. They don't come to you in ideal conditions. You know, their mums have most likely been hit by cars. That's kind of the main one, or, or they have. So you know, you, you lose a fair few, and and, and that's reality normally in the first couple days. So you've got your possums, kangaroos, wombats. Yeah, mostly those. Lots of sugar gliders we get here too. But we have had a few echidnas, what else, turtles. And you've got your fly, flight aviary now up the back, your big flight aviary for when you get birds. And we did have a hawk um, a couple of weeks ago. That was a bit exciting. Especially trying to catch that one was a bit exciting. Since you have all of these injured and displaced animals all the time who pays for all of that stuff who pays for all their food and the buildings and their cages and the and so on yep um well we we do get a few donations you're a registered charity aren't you yeah we are a registered charity um but but most of it this is why we've got to work full time because money doesn't grow on trees <laughs> no, but it's your own money that you Co put in correct every with, day with some some donations which is fantastic yeah. so if people are interested in helping out or sponsoring and in the end you're looking towards having carers possibly come in as well aren't you yes in in the future yeah so if they are interested in helping out and and sponsoring animals and and that sort of thing how do they do it or how can they get in touch with you well, i have got an instagram page and facebook we're on facebook bush beings and also <laughs> a page on our website with all the links and information about uh, marlene and her animal sanctuary and what is it called? 
Bush Beans. Bush Beans. Yeah. So that'll be on our on our website that you can get that information and we'll make arrangements so that you can do or have the information to do donations and so on and get in contact with Marlene if you're that way inclined. Wait, if someone finds something injured on the road, what should people generally do? Yep, so you can call Wildlife Victoria, they, they will help out, but at the same time there's a delay. They've got to send messages out to all the carers. There can be quite a delay. The best thing to do is take it to the nearest veterinary clinic. The nearest veterinary clinic will then contact, they will assess the animal, which it needs to be done if you know it was found roadside, things like that and then they will contact carers and, and the carers will come and pick it up. So that's for Australia wide as yep. well. Edible garden, well you have an edible garden but it's animals. just for animals. <laughs> <laughs> so you prune all your trees, some more flowers for possums. <laughs> yep. so, so your whole garden is a food source. <laughs> it's turning into it really quickly. <laughs> Look at the, the, those cages are the best aren't they? They're like... They're fantastic. They're like a zoo showroom cage, you know what I mean? Coming to visit. I have my camera back. This is when you get scary for me. This is when you get scary because Mum's trying to dig in my neck and go in my dressing gown. And they get a bit scary. They run out the door? Well, they tend to stay in here. They always have one door closed. <laughs> not doing it, they're doing it. Like it's yeah, they're doing it, they're not. Hello. Don't they normally, they normally try that, don't they? Hello. Oh. These two have been oh. really shy and hate me. Can you see her? It's licking my eyelid. <laughs> she don't want to be scared. Is Carl scared? No, he doesn't no, seem to yet. be. He hasn't flicked it off anyway. Just licking my eye. Oh, Literally. Oh, darling. Oh, so cute. I think I should start a car. She likes the camera. Mm -hmm. Well, I've had worse. She must be paparazzi. That's Jerry. Jerry. So what was wrong with him? Um, they always tear the little wing bits. So he can't fly? Um, he seems to go all right, but the edge of it crisps off a bit, but he's still got like a, a main bit. Okay. So I think he's, he's okay. So do they mend? She jumped back on you, did well, she? Well, not very well. So. Okay. And how long do you keep them? Pretty much a year, just under a year, but it depends on oh, um, cute like the weather. You don't want to let them go in the middle of winter. You want to let them go in spring when there's flowers and, and it's a bit nicer, nicer, warmer for them. So you feed them up, you keep them for a year, and then you let them go where? Yep. In Generally the bush. where they're found. Um, so they, you're meant to let them go in a similar area to where they're found. But when you join them with others, like you try and buddy them up when they're little, yeah. um, you've got a bit more oh, leeway. You can let them friend. go correct where either them or their friend was found. Oh, yeah. This is George. This is George. George is gorgeous. George the troublemaker. George is very, very friendly. He's a bit too friendly. Is he? Yeah. Calm. Yeah. Is it too, too much, George? Bring it down. Yeah. He's like crazy friendly. You don't want it in his eyes. Hi, George. What's George hanging on? He's cute. He likes it. So when you release him, how do you tell the ones that are in a wild that he might mix with that his name's George? <laughs> like, do you, you use tell everybody a... in the distance first <laughs> to get the possum language for this is George? You write, you write George on his box. On well, his I was going to say some boxes have gone with like pictures, like Toasty had toast on their box and Leo oh. had lions on his box. Oh. <laughs> so that when they look, they know that that's a lion, so his name's a lion. <laughs> that's right. Okay. <laughs> find that difficult. <laughs> and if you release a few at the one time, they can tell the others what their names are. Oh, that's true. Okay, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> the bigger they get, the less you give them, if, if it makes sense. Oh, so okay. little, they get their milk and they, you're trying really hard to get flowers for them and everything, and as they get bigger, they get more greeny. Okay. Flowers are a treat. Yep. And some carers feed their possums fruit, but I definitely don't with the ringtails. Why is um, that? Because when you let them go, you try and let them, they're a lot shyer. Um, so they, there isn't fruit where you let them go. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, but the brushes, the brushes I'll often give a bit of fruit because they will scavenge and they're, they're more happy to come into houses and uh, raid their fruit trees and things like that. Take the quinces. Yep. But yep. these guys are a lot shyer, so they don't come in as often. Okay, um, cool. Just to not get them used to it. Yeah, yeah, which is fair enough because yeah. if it's not there, then how but do they... Guys, I do feed nectar because I can't supply them with enough stuff with nectar, so they get nectar. Oh. So what do you mean you get nectar? Like They, they get nectar powder in water, mixed with water. I also so, get a bit of protein oh. powder in there because I can't catch them all the bugs they need. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I get them mealworms and things like that. But I didn't know there was such a thing. Protein. Was yeah. nectar powder? Yeah, yeah, nectar powder. It's like your lorikeet powder. Yeah. Well. yeah. Taste you it. taste it. Yeah, but I, I would too. Powder, <laughs> yeah, but we both tasted tame. it together and leave yeah. it. <laughs> This is why it gets done over the sink. <laughs> Luckily, we're not in a water conservative place. <laughs> what are you doing now, Marlene? Who have we got here? Oh, oh my gosh. They don't want their bottles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hello. These are so beautiful. Well, at least they're not in your bedroom anymore. True. That's an improvement. <laughs> no, you guys? You just want drinks, do you? They do, they're friendly. That's Dazza and Sassy. Um, Dazza and Liddy. Hello. So this is the wombat enclosure. <laughs> Wombats and wine to keep you sane. You need no. more wine. And then behind you is Digger and Sassy. So how often do you feed them? Twice a day. Twice a day. Come on, Bubbers. <laughs> Dazza. Come on, Daz. Hello, Bubbers. Dazza loves his bottle. Lily, she 
She often doesn't want hers, but she's doing really good this morning. And they often want to hang on to your fingers. <laughs> so cute. And this is Dolly. Also, flight A. Yeah. Slash, it is multiple. Multi use. Purpose, yeah. So, how old's Dolly? These guys, I reckon they should be right for release in spring. So, she'll be getting close to, to two. Ten, ten. Up to two. Close to and two. And you've had her for how long? Um, definitely a year I've had her. <laughs> so, so why, how did Dolly come to be here? She was found in a dead mum on the road pouch, even though she was she was a big bubber and she was still in there and she was covered in ticks. Ah, oh. so her mum, her mum got run over, basically. Yeah. I think nearly all of them do, yeah. yeah. Hello, girl. And in here... This is her new, new spot, it's quite cute. This is her bed. Hey? I like your window on the front there. That's her bed. Oh. Oh, that's the back end of it. It's the back end so of it. So you can clean it out. She runs around like crazy. She's got an awesome hole. This has got anti-digging stuff, I see. Done amazing with her hole. Is that her? Guinea fowl. And these are for sale. Saleable guinea fowl. To make money for your addiction. So if anyone wants guinea fowl, we know where to get them. They chase away snakes. This morning? In. Morning's in here at Easy, just two lots get milk. Two, two milk. Two milk. And yeah. this is Divedlac, so it's like universal. You can use it in puppies, kittens. And that's what I give to the possums. Huh. And what are they? Uh, these are ringtails. Yeah, ringtails. And they know to drink the milk from the bowl. They do. Because you've taught them. They're down this one. Yeah, well you start off, because these were from Tiny, so you syringe feed them. Then when they get a bit bigger, they'll drink from a little milk top lid. Yeah. And, um, and then they just kind of work up to bowls and... Huh. Yeah. This one's a little shy one, little ringtail. A baby. Um, yeah, a bit smaller than the others, but still big enough to drink on her own. But she's scared still. You won't see much in there, I don't I think. And this is to all your possums. There's lots missing. There's lots missing. <laughs> you should get like one of those old Polaroid ones. They've got new ones now that you can just print off instantly. Oh, the in yeah, you can get the little instant, instant Polaroid printer things. So these are rescued turtles. Yes. Long neck, long necks. Eastern rescued long, long neck turtles in and, their own um, enclosure as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hello, hula and grills. Hey, Grilsey. These are both rescue dogs. Hey, been rehomed because nobody else would want them, or they were badly behaved, or something to that effect. Hey, guys. Yes, you're very good now, but aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. And why have you got so many cats, Marlon? Um. Because I used to work at RSPCA. Oh, right. <laughs> so they're all rescue cats from they RSPCA. Are. But most people that like possums hate cats because cats eat possums. True. So, Actually, I'm 
Yeah, can I just say that? I, I love cats. I, I love most animals. And if cats are kept indoors, which they happily can be, or if they have enclosures, they keep birds and wildlife safe and can enjoy being cats too. So really, you dislike all animals, big or small. Okay, guys. So Oppie's epileptic. Poor Oppie. That's that one. These ones are um, got a leg deficiency. Mini legs, they're mini me's. <laughs> and Eagle's got a eye deficiency. <laughs> Poor Eagle's only got one eye. Hello, Wendell. Wendell. Hello, Wendell. Wendell. Hello, Mrs. Wendell. Why is Wendell in here? He's one that's coming through RS PCA, so I've had one like the cocky. Ah. Um, so he was a pre pet. And once they're pets, they can't be released. Yeah. But we did get him a girlfriend who's another pet one. Um, that was from another lady. <laughs> now, I wear earmuffs because he screeches in my ears. And is Wendell a good child? He's a terrible child. He bites and he torments me. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Luck. Come on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love you, Wendell. He's pretending to be nice, but he's not. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Can I have that back? <laughs> I think it's just, I think you're just hammering all this up. No, no, he's been really nice today. You ask Heidi. Yesterday he was on fire. And, and you're giving him nectar mix. Uh, nectar mix? I think he likes the attention of others. Yeah. Does Peachy come out? No. No, we do occasionally, but you've got to really watch because these guys are bigger, they could oh, speed her up. This okay. is Mum's bird. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, she's just on holidays and she tries to bite me too. <laughs> nice. At least they're all in the one cage. Yeah. Do you do anything at all bad, Wendell? Are you bad, Wendell? Are you bad? Are you telling the truth? Who's lying? Wendell's lying. <laughs> ah, now we know where it, yeah, Wendell is lying, eh? <laughs> and who's this? This is Doc. Doc, hey Doc. Doc. Escaped yeah, pet bird. Yeah, he the wild one, but then he wasn't. Hello. 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 Their chest and it's nearly all growing back. Hello. Hello. And they're meant to be like real children. If they don't get attention, they, they oh, turn yeah. naughty and. What do we have here, Marlene? Human edible food. I was going to eat some, but then I'd have to get them some more. <laughs> and who's it for? This is for the brush tails. Wow, they get looked after here. I want to come to this. Establishment. <laughs> Sanctuary. Bed what and do you breakfast. Call it? <laughs> well, yeah, what's their rental? Thanks None. for watching. Oh. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> if you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up.